the possible benefits. Dave, can you do that self-laughing thing again? Do what? what, what what's that? It's what? a it's a cigarette lighter. No, that's hysterical, Mike. No, I was just cracking myself up because Sherman has not yet developed object permanence, which most people have by the time they're about 18 months old. But his whole life is one big game of peekaboo. My dope nation, cool dope nation. One, one big game of peekaboo. That's what his life is. Look, he's like, peekaboo, I see you. Peekaboo, peekaboo. So when he asked you, where were you when you were losing the weight, I'm sure that in his mind he was wondering why you were disconnected from your body. So I think that's sort of the experience he's having most of the time. That was all. They've been set the flashback machine for the summer of love, 1968. Why? I bought it in Tokyo. Um, well, he does look kind of like the Zardoz head. Zardoz? You remember the movie Zardoz? Yeah, I don't re recall if I remember seeing it. Shot Connery, I believe. Yes, yes. Okay, you should, you should watch it because... Again, the object permanent. Oh. No, thank you, sir. He's not... I'm not sure if something's no. there. If you can't see it, you have to remind yourself that it is there. I think you're projecting. Can you conserve, Dave? Can I do what? Conserve. Conserve what? Well, you know, this, uh, just like object permanence, there's the notion of conservation. Oh, ah, yes, okay. For instance, uh, my liner drift dropped again. Um, you mean from the standpoint of like the second law of thermodynamics? No, I don't know. Entropy? No, I mean, you remember in your beginning psychology class, and they showed you the movie where they have the kitten walking on glass? Oh, yeah. And under a certain level of development, the kitten freaks out, and then when it passes that level of uh, development, speaking of which, um, the um, you'll see it on YouTube tonight, don't worry. Um, you know, when the kid, when the kid, uh, when you first put the kitten on the glass, it freaks out because he thinks it's walking on air, or he, or he doesn't realize he's not walking on air. And then, and then when he, when he passes a certain development, he understands the depth possession, but doesn't understand that he's on glass. So the kitten starts to freak out. Okay. You know, it's also being able to tell the difference between the volume of liquids and containers and things like that. It's the same sort of thing. Yes. And distance. What? And distance. Distance. Yes. Well, when you can fold time and space with your own brain, because that's where you're tuned into. Like your whole, your whole consciousness is just a screen of lettering coming up, scrolling across left to right, and your brain is engaged in articulate whatever that writing is. There's no governor, there's no conservation there at all. It's just completely ungoverned. It just it just goes on and on and on, never ending. You mean like that uh, Thomas Kincaid picture of himself painting? I don't know that I've ever seen that, but that sounds like it might be right in the same valley wick. Same opera, same category. Dave needs to realize there is no present, there is merely the future and the past. And chickens, that's the thing. Oh. Someone has a very Dude, don't talk about chickens. I saw Food Inc. today. 